your local archives are the perfect place to discover your family history. Paul Clark is a regular visitor to Flintshire Record Office and when he looked into his father's side of the family, he discovered more than he had ever expected. My grandmother's brother deserted the army in the First World War and found his way to Australia where he changed his name and it turned out that he married in Australia and had ten children. This photograph of George is the only photograph I know for sure is him and I got it from his um, Merchant Navy record card. But in Australia they don't have any photographs of him at all. They've searched, they've asked all different members of the family and no one seems to have one. He did send letters home using a, a false name about him riding up and down Australia on horseback and pack horse, doing a bit of gold mining and the letters just stopped. His mother and father were still alive and they thought he died. Local archives are such a good resource for family historians because they keep and maintain documents that are unique and irreplaceable. So in order to view them, you need to fill in a request form and hand it to a member of staff. I just had a request for a document from someone in the search room, so we'll go and get it from the strong rooms if you'd like to come with me. And we have the strong room here. The lights come on automatically when you open the door. And here we have air conditioning, so the documents are kept at the right temperature and the right relative humidity. I'll just move these along. Right, I want this box here. Oh, item's actually on the top. So this Your research doesn't need to be limited to just the physical documents. Archives can be a great springboard to further research, especially as you can use the IT facilities at your local archive to conduct research online for free. I put a message on a family history site on the internet to see if anybody knew George Hales, his, his correct name, aka Peter Clayton. And I got a reply from one of his grandsons. Through getting in touch with his relatives in Australia, Paul Clark made discoveries, both happy and sad, about his great uncle's life. In 1940, his eldest son shot and killed him. He had a lot of problems, and I, should, I, I think it was probably because of the war, shell shock. And on this night, that he'd come into their house in the early hours of the morning, threatening people, and his eldest son, who was only 17, went into his mother's bedroom, picked up a gun to protect him and uh, shot him. He didn't die till the next day, but he didn't blame the boy. He said in, the, in his report that when he was talking to the police, it was all his fault. By delving into his ancestry, Paul has discovered a whole new family that he is now in regular contact with. We have a photograph of Jackie, his granddaughter, Francis's daughter when she came to stay with us last year. People come along and then they, they love to tell you what they found and that, that makes the job even more interesting. So, so you, you feel proud that you've helped them in, in finding something um, amazing. Um, with um, Paul Clark recently found um, information that led to, to uh, relatives in Australia and then they came over here and visited him. Lots of people say, I'd love to do it. I'd love to know where my family comes from. I think if you really get into it, if you really get interested, you start to look further which you can do. I mean, if it wasn't for the archives, if I didn't start going to the archives and finding out about family, certainly wouldn't have known anything at all, anything at all about their family. And such a nice family. 